Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Mornings with Granny. I am out here in my van doing some work before it gets too hot. We hope to go camping maybe in a couple of weeks, and I wanted to change some things around. It's 83 degrees out here right now, so I figured I better get out this morning and do it before it got too bad. It's been being in the upper 90s. But... The reason I'm changing some stuff around is because of Gizmo. When we're camping and he's in the van, I have a short leash that I hook to the bed. He's got enough room to get up on his chair or he can get up on the bed, but he can't go out the door. Well, I know it probably irritates him having that harness on. So what I'm thinking about doing is I got the baby gate and I can put it across one of the side doors but I still had the back doors back here let me get you where you can see so I had had these Starlight containers in here before and I took them out but I got to thinking if I put them across here that keeps him from going out it's still allows the airflow to come through. I've got a screen to put over there. And then I was thinking last night, I've got stuff piled up here on the end of the bed, but I was thinking he could jump off the bed if he really wanted to go after someone. So what I'm gonna do is leave this door shut with the window open and keep that door open because he's an old dog. I really don't think that he would climb from the bed to the top of the uh, shelves there or storage units whatever you want to call them so I'm trying to figure out let me get you back around here I'm trying to figure out how to do it to benefit him I'm trying to get this thing adjusted oh, there it goes anyway I'm trying to figure out how to do it to benefit him now, the problem with having those there is driving, they want to tilt. So I've got two options. One is to put bungee cord from the bed across, or let me get my fan, it's already hot. Uh, the other one is to, when I'm traveling, put the baby gate across here. I think it'll fit, so I'm gonna try that. I haven't really decided what I want to put in those drawers yet. I'm thinking some of the stuff that I have under the bed that's hard for me to get to. I'm thinking about putting that in those drawers. And the little black shelf that I had at the end of the bed, I don't know if you saw it or not. Let's see if I can get you turned around. I've got it sitting in that corner. Well, it makes that stuff a little bit hard to get to. So I'm going to have to make sure that I have stuff on there that I don't use that often. I mean, you sit and you plan and you plan and then you change around. In fact, my friend that I can't wish she's changing hers around again today too. So, you know, you keep changing. And I don't think I showed you where I changed the curtains. So I already keep moving you around, but I don't have a gooseneck uh, thing for my camera. I changed the curtains. They used to hang out over the ledge. So what I did was I took one curtain and put a spring tension rod up under the blind and one at the bottom. And the reason I did that is, and so I have this ledge now on each side. And I did that to all three curtains. And the reason that I did that too with the uh, spring tension rod at the bottom is there are windows about that wide and that long at the bottom so what I can do is take that spring tension rod and move it up and have that airflow coming through those windows so I'm gonna try that and see how it works I did have a, the curtain stuck up against the window with velcro but in the heat they kept coming loose and I can use my blinds but the trouble with those blinds is you see through them so I needed something you couldn't see through and I put a little bit of uh, what they call is something like alien tape on the, um, let me show you, on the sides right here where the light's coming through, right there. 
with the lights coming through, I put some alien tape right there to stick the curtain up against it when I get where I'm going so that you can't see anything from in here. So it's, you know, it's always a work in progress. What else have I added? I'm trying to think if I've added anything. I did get this. Let's see if I can get you where you can see it again. Let me move you down. The back of the seat, little desk thing. It's got pockets in it, and you can use it for a desk if you want to. I found that at, well, actually, I found two of them at, um, where was it at? Bargain Basket, which is a thrift store in my town, for 75 cents each. And then I found the gray one right here where my hat's hanging, a long one. I thought it was a cosmetic bag, but it's actually a Dyson bag. I guess you kept the Dyson tools in it, and it was 75 cents. So I've got a small one hanging in the back, but here that I put my glasses and keys and stuff like that in at night. So I might change that little one out, donate it, and use the big one over here. But you know, it's just, you keep changing and changing and changing and changing. Let me take you outside and show you what it looks like from the back. All right, now you can see. See how I've got the uh, bins right here? And, I think that'll keep, let me get you down lower, gizmo from coming through here. And what I'm thinking about doing is keeping my table and stove and all that stuff right in here. And you can see, at least I hope you can, the little shelf right here. So that's the plan for right now. Like I said, you just, you know, you keep changing stuff around. Every time you go somewhere, you come back and you change something around. Or you take something out or you add something to it. I don't really need these drawers in here. But if it'll keep Gizmo from coming out and still allow him to have airflow when he is in the van, then I'll put him there and give up that little bit of real estate, so to speak. All right, guys, I'm going to work on this before it gets much hotter out here. You guys have a good day. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe.